All right, let's take a little quick peek at the other settings you have. Pretty standard. You have sortings, whether it be standard, random, or reversed. What kind of transition you want for your slideshow. And there's just a few here, but the typical ones. The transition time in milliseconds. And what do you want on your slideshow? Do you want the button? Do you want automatic play, automatic stop? The slide interval, progress bar, uh, which I usually really don't like. Pause on mouse hover, I actually do like. So let's take a quick peek at some of these. The photo info button, you can turn that on or off if you want. You can choose to show the album name, the description. You can protect your images. The fixed aspect ratio is if you've prepared your pictures for that in advance. You can turn off the thumbnails. And you can show photo wall thumbnails. And then here's all of the settings for the photo info pop-up. You can hide any of the actual information on that pop-up we looked at in the last video. And then for the full screen settings, a close link, which could be the URL for a redirect when the user closed the full screen slideshow. Now there is a map view here. We're going to experiment with a little bit of that in another video. I'm just going to click Save. Come back over to my photo gallery and hit refresh. And you'll see that I turned that description on or the title on. My thumbnails. And again, the full screen button with the Warbirds over Indiana now placed nicely there. These are some of the things that you can see the changes to the settings that we had from our options. All right, and those are some of the options for this menu.